The agency that approves drugs in the United States has given the go-ahead for a pill to help prevent HIV. It's claimed that Truvada can be used as a preventative measure for people who are at high risk of contracting the virus through sexual contact. The drug's already being used by some people who have the virus. Dr. Gital Mburu is a senior advisor on HIV at the International AIDS Alliance. He says it's a major breakthrough. This is perhaps the most significant development in terms of drug uh, registration that we've seen so far this year. What this approval of Truvada means is that um, HIV-negative adults can now have access to drugs that they can use that will help them to prevent HIV infection. And hundreds of people, if they use it correctly, will remain HIV-free. Thousands of other people will have something that empowers them to take direct control over their own health. Of course, it is important to remember that this drug is not a one-in-all silver bullet. It needs to be used uh, in combination and in complementing to the other existing interventions, meaning that people have to use um, condoms as, as consistently, as correctly as possible. People have to have early diagnosis and treatment of STI, uh, that is sexually transmitted infections, which have been known to increase HIV infection. Uh, uh, drug, people who inject drugs have got to be provided with clean needles. And of course, people that turn HIV positive need to have access to HIV uh, treatment and care. I think in summary, we can say that this is perhaps one of, one of the important developments this year that we ha has gotten us closer to uh, winning the battle against HIV. We are very excited. It's a significant development, and we welcome it as at the International HIV uh, Alliance. Of course. HIV uh, retrovirals are, are, are notorious for their side effects. Does this particular drug have side effects, and will that put people off taking it? That's a very valid concern, uh, and side effects are a concern. They remain a concern. What is important for us to remember is that this drug has been used since 2004 by millions of people, and even more importantly, it just highlights the importance of get, making sure that communities understand how this drug works, how, when it's supposed to be used, and what they should do if they experience side effects. People need to make decisions that are informed to be able to use this additional option of pre preventing themselves from acquiring HIV. And, and coming back to what you were saying just a moment or two ago, it, it's not a, a, a silver bullet. It, it's not an excuse for people to let their guard down. They still have to practice safe sex. Absolutely. Evidence that we have now from the two trials that have been already conducted on this drug show that People have not been complacent, and there is no uh, risk compensation, meaning that people have not been complacent in those trials. In real time, there is a risk that that could happen. But what that means is that we need to make sure that information, communication strategies directed at communities and people at risk and key populations continue to stress, very importantly, on the need to observe uh, safe sexual practices, use condoms uh, at all times correctly, go for early diagnosis and treatment of STIs, and so on and so forth. So it is going to be used, and it requires to be used, it must be used in a combination prevention approach uh, in all situations. Dr. Gitao Mburu.